What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we did a lot of battling. You know, things that you guys wanted to see right at uh, Route 214. And yeah, you're not mistaken, we evolved our Mon Monfernomon. We, evolved, uh, we actually evolved two Pokemon right here, Monfernomon, you know, the Infernape, and uh, good old Starblade. Look at that. Let's go ahead and check the star star blade right here now i haven't checked it's uh anything of it but it's physical attack is just kicking butt right here fortunately a special defense is just yeah it's not gonna it's not not the best but still it is a pretty good pokemon now let's go right ahead and take a look at that uh that monferno mon right here it's the same deal attack and special defense it's just it's ridiculous you know it's 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 not this game but i, I can't remember which i can't remember which game no, well, it's probably Pokemon Platinum, but it was probably because of Pokemon Platinum and I started to check the stats of uh, every Pokemon on what what exactly I wanted in a team and all that stuff. But yeah, this game right here is really making me think. So here we are. Let's see. We're going to have to take a look at the town map because I uh, don't know where we're at. Okay, so we, we're here in front of uh, the Valor Lakefront. One of the lakes is a symbolic of the water-rich Sinnoh region. There is an odd legend associated with it. Now... This doesn't have a Pokemon Center. This is just a resort. And we're just going to take a small visit and then make our way straight to Pastoria City and see what else we can actually find. And this guy's like, I am so sorry. We are cl we are now closed. Please do visit while we're op where we are open. Cannot read. Okay, so that is that. But let's see. If we talk to this lady, uh, I'd rather be in the pool than in the sea. The salty tang of the sea tastes like... Tastes like my tears after a hard day at work. Ugh, that doesn't, that's not really nice. And if you go right here, you're gonna be finding yourselves a PP up, which, uh, you know, you could use for a, one of your Pokemon's moves. And, well, we're gonna be going right here. Let's see what we can find in this area. Ah, these guys. And he has a Gengar. Uh, hi there! It's me, Gengar Loving Director. Battling other trainers sure is exciting, isn't it? Keep building up those bonds with your Pokemon so you can take on tougher trainers. Ah, yes, that's what we're doing. And another game director. Ciao! I'm the game director. You're working uh, you're working on filling a Pokedex, aren't you? It's awesome that you're going to meet lots of Pokemon. Come show me your Pokedex when you fill up the, uh, the trons of entries. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. It, it probably is. It's just I'm not going to do such a good job at it or something. I'm just here to beat the game and everything. And, yeah, we don't really need a repel right here. And, uh, let's see. There is a lady at this, yeah, this area right here. Talk to her. She's going to be like, what am I to do? I've gone and dropped my sweet, my sweet key again. The hotel people won't be happy with me. I'm sure I had it when I left the, the reception counter earlier. Okay, so we have to go to the reception area. And let's see. Here we are in Route 213. This place is uh, filled with a whole bunch of routes, and there's nothing right here. So let's go and talk to this, or go inside this building. And let's see. Me, I'm just simple soul. I let my guitar do all the talking. All I need is music and Pokemon. I can shine wherever I go if I have those things in my life. That is pretty darn cool. And that is just a trash can. So let's go ahead and talk to this person. Let me gaze into your eyes. I will read your fortune. A magical encounter is in the winds. Though I cannot tell whether it will be with a Pokemon or a trainer. Hmm. It might be, uh, might come true. We're traveling trope of street performers. In the place of formal introduction, please take these. And here we get ourselves TM92s, which would be Magical Room? Nope, this is Tricky Room. And it's for the Pokemon that, you know, it will benefit the slowest Pokemon and all that crud. And, well, let's see. I think we can go right here. Talk to this, talk to this, uh, house or something like that. Like, see, there is a person just sitting right there, and, uh, is that right? You're a traveler. Yes, it's a good, uh, to see other places. Do you know about Mount Moon in the Kanto region? Uh-huh. Clefairy dancing under the moon, it's something I must see in my lifetime. That is so goddamn true. I think I've seen it in Pokemon, uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, that kind of stuff, yeah. Now, let's see, uh, the lobby. Now, if you talk to this guy, I think he will heal your Pokemon. Uh, I'm afraid we're totally booked, but you can rest, rest for a little bit. So this is the, this is actually the area where you can heal up your Pokemon. Never, I, I never got that. 
back in the day and stuff. This hotel is so romantic. I hope a night on Pokemon will sweep me away on my honeymoon here. Okay. The romantics. You gotta love the romantics right here. And, well, let's see. What if we go right here? We found ourselves a red shard. And... Let's see. We're finding something. We're trying to find something. No, Monfortamon has vigorously produced a flame. And if we go right here... There's a Shalos. Talk to this person. I stand stoically in the front of the deep blue sea. Why? Because I'm a rich boy. The sea, sea the seaside uh, suits me better than the sea. Ah. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. Let's start battling some Pokemon trainers. Um, let's go ahead and use smoke. I haven't used smoke at all. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, right here. Okay, battle two. Alright, so here we go, guys, battling to get to Pastoria City. And here we are taking on Tuber Chelsea. And she will come out with a Bibarel. This is the evolved form of our Lord and Savior Beetle. And here we go with Smoke. Smoke is probably at a disadvantage right here. Mother Lover. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Let's go to Monfernamon. All right, Smoke, you, you did us well, I guess. <laughs> so here we go to Monfernomon. And here comes a water gun. It is super effective. So now it is time to go with close combat. Oh, yes. Oh, that right there. That's fantastic. All righty. Yeah, and Hydra. Growing levels like crazy right here. And Chase, Chelsea. Chelsea has been defeated. So, let's see. Uh, hopefully this kid won't have like a Bibarel or something like that. Isn't it nice? I love my inner tube. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's get it. Let's win. Here we are taking on Tuber Jared. And he's got three Pokemon right here. He's going to be coming out with a Shellos. Now, I do believe that in this area right here... You'll be able to you'll be able to find the other what the other version of this shellos right here. Could be wrong. So let's go straight for a shadow punch and uh, we're loafing around. Ah, I forgot. This Pokemon is a traded Pokemon, and that move has been disabled. Ah. Come on. It is confused, and yes, we use Shadow Punch, so I, c I have completely forgotten, guys, that, uh, yeah, that Smoke is a traded Pokemon, and I think we have to win this badge right here in order to have it to obey me and stuff, and, well, here we go again, Shadow Punch for the win, and there you go, say goodbye to Shellos. Alrighty, so going to be coming out with another Shellos. Might as well go with Toothless right here. Since Shellos is a ground-type Pokemon, it could, we could do something with that, right? Probably. Who knows? Alrighty, so let's see. Shellos, how's it going? And we're going to go straight for a Bulldoze attack. And what the heck? <laughs> yeah, I had completely forgotten Toothless is a, uh, <laughs> I'm fixing up my hair right here. Alrighty. I had completely forgotten that, uh, Toothless is a traded Pokemon itself. Good gravy, we are at a disadvantage. Uh, okay, so you're loafing around. Yeah. So... <laughs> what are we to do? Wait for the third move and... There we go, Shellos getting it, getting uh, beaten right here. So here comes a uh, water pulse attack, and here we go again. We are first, and <laughs> I knew this was gonna bite me in the ass. I knew it was, and oh god, it looks like to me that we're gonna have to we're gonna have to bring out another Pokemon right here, and we are confused. Oh my god. Okay, so here we go. Come on. And there we go. Dragon Breath attack. 
And just like that, Shellos has been defeated. So half our team we can't use. Uh, okay, so let's go right ahead and go with uh, Hydra right here. So yeah, half our team we cannot use. Next episode, we're going to have to get back uh, maybe two Pokemon in order to in order to progress right here. So here we have Shellos yet again. And Hydra has intimidated this Pokemon to nobody's end. And let's go straight for a Crunch Attack. Now this guy has another version of Shellos, so there we go. Shellos defeated. And yes, I am getting messaged like nobody's business right here. Jared has been defeated. Hold buckets. Uh, okay, so... There is a little something that I need to do because this is ridiculous. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys, and uh, yeah, I did a little bit of a replacement. Uh, I had to replace those three Pokemon on my team for three Pokemon that I caught here in this version. And yes, we are back with Electrostar, Mew de Uno, and Toxic Batman. I had to do it, I'm sorry. And it looks like we're going to have to go into a gym battle with these Pokemon because, well, crud baskets. Who would ever thought? So, what we're going to be doing is, yes, we're going to be battling. We're just going to be gaining experience points and try and use everything that we have right here. So, uh, off screen too, I did teach some of my Pokemon new moves from the TMs that I got. Mew de Uno, of course, can learn every single TM because it's like the original Pokemon. So, it should give us a bit of an advantage even though it's typing or its level is pretty low right now by these standards so here we are with electro star welcome back to the team right here and one of the moves we did teach is shockwave so let's go straight for a shockwave attack right here and there we go pretty good pokemon and uh here comes a gyarados so this should give it a bit of experience points right here so here is Gyarados using its Intimidate, and uh, well, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, going straight for a Shockwave attack ourselves, and just like that, Gyarados defeated. Yeah, buddy. All right. All right, and Electrostar grows to level 29, and is going to be coming out with a Remoraid, so we might as well evolve Electrostar while we're at it. You know, it deserves it, being the replacement MVP for this team, and... There we go. Remoraid defeated itself. Okay. Alrighty. And that's more points. Mew de Uno, without doing anything, grows to level 22. And, uh, well, this guy is like, you need to have more respect for grown-ups. I am a grown-up. I, I don't have respect for myself. That's the funny part. Now, let's see. What is this? The footstep. Foot, uh, the footprints reveal everything. That guy can tell what your Pokemon's been through when it comes to its footprints. So, if you guys want to take a look down there, then that's fine. So, here we are taking on Beauty Cindy. And she is going to be coming out with a Glam Meow, my mortal enemy. Alright, Electro Star. Let's go. And Own Temple. Oh, wow. Okay, so. Let's see. Let's go straight for a shockwave attack, but this lady is going to be going with a growl attack, so maybe that will lower our attack a little bit, but shockwave is a special attack, so there we go. Glam Meow defeated. Okay, alrighty. And that's more points for us, and we win. She is not happy about this. <laughs> Definitely not happy. Alright, so we got a few things to take care of. Thankfully, we already have Rock Smash on the little, you know, watch thingy. And we're going to be finding ourselves a tree right there, which we're not going to be doing anything. We're not going to try and capture any Pokemon right now. And we're going to be going straight for another Rock Smash. From here, you'll be able to find yourself the TM40 Aerial Ace. And uh, if you talk to this guy, he's going to be like, there's something up to on the top of this big cliff right here. My N6 tell me that... Uh, tell me that, but how am I supposed to climb up? That is true. That is so true, and uh, well, unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait until like way, way later on. So, here we are grabbing ourselves some Ross Berries, and here it is another Ross Berries for the win. And let's see, how about this one right here? Aqua Berries, and 
Let's go with this one. And here we have Ipapa Berries. Those are actually gonna work with us too. And, well, let's see. I think there might be an item down here. No, no item. So, we finally made it into Pastoria City. And talk to this girl. It's long. It's a long way from Balestone. I'm exhausted. How about this guy? Right here. Footprints are left in the sand when you walk on the beach. Pokemon seem to be enjoy or seem to enjoy leaving footprints as much as people. True. So goddamn true. And well, here we are, guys, in Pastoria City. And yeah, this place right here is just uh, you know. It's exactly what it looks like. Now, I would stop here, but we kind of need to win a badge in order to get ourselves, you know, those Pokemon. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to heal my Pokemon, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are in Pastoria City, guys. And, uh, well, there, there is, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go right here. Grab ourselves a few berries because, you know, berries are going to be freaking awesome for us. And, uh... How about here, two Nana Berries. Those are usually the best things for, for us. And well, let's see. We do this, and here we have another two Nana Berries. Those will work. And nope, I am not trying to plant a berry. But if, you know, Zubek would get out of the way. Bro, you're like literally blocking the way here. <laughs> so there we go, two Person Berries. Those will work. And... What is going to happen now is we're going to go right here. We're going to go straight into the Pastoria City Gym. So as you guys can see, it's the same thing as in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. And it's a room, well, it's, it is a gym filled with a whole bunch of water type trainers. So what we're going to do is we're going to beat these water type trainers one by one, level every single one of these guys up, and uh, make our way through this, you know long and arduous road right here so here we are taking on tuber jackie and he will be coming out with a buisel buisel fast as always fast steadfast as many of you guys like to say and well here's the intimidate electro star is yeah electro star is definitely going to eat in this whole area right here so what we're going to do is a bite attack to us and here we go wow seriously Okay, an Iron Tail. Wow, this Pokemon, uh... Alright, it came prepared, so here we go. Shockwave for the win. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, and, well, Tuber Jackie's not too happy about that. Yeah, he, he's definitely not too happy about it. So, let's go right ahead. And... You know, we, what we need to do is not do that see right here and it will fill up the waters from here so we got to be careful and this one will lead us towards I guess the entrance area right here and no that's not the way to go oh wow I yeah I, I screwed myself over right here all right uh, let's see puzzle here and yeah we could go right here what if yeah we're gonna go right here okay so it's been a while guys I do apologize it's been a while since I've actually done anything right here and yeah we're gonna be finding a lot of trainers so we're gonna be battling everybody with the same Pokemon Trying to level them up. Of course, Electro Star is due to evolve pretty soon here. So here we go, taking on Walter, and he is coming out with a Barboach. And this Pokemon, yeah, it has our number. Unfortunately, it is a ground type Pokemon as well. So what we're gonna do is, yeah, we're gonna go with Mew De Uno. It is a very powerful Pokemon, but. You know, I could have given it a grass type move. Oh yeah. So here comes a water pulse attack. And that is not so effective, but yes, we get confused, seriously. Alright. Let's see. Let's go with a reflect type. Let's go with this. Oh my god, okay. 
Hurt himself with confusion. We're gonna get an Aqua Tail. Yeah, we're not gonna get a hit off right here. This is ridiculous. So come on. Let's go. And reflect type. So this Pokemon automatically becomes. Okay, so we become the same Pokemon as this. Not so effective. And yeah. Yeah, we're yeah, we're not doing so well right now. Uh, okay, it snapped out of its confusion, but here comes a psychic attack. And that hits it very, very hard. Okay, so this is what happens when you are like the king of all Pokemon. So which came first? Arceus or you know, Mew. It's like the chicken and the egg. Here we go, psychic attack. And that does the trick. It is a critical hit. And there goes Barboke, Barboach. And bam, we get some more points. Walter has been defeated. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go right ahead and do that. And let's go right here. And you know what? It's 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 always good to heal up your Pokemon here too. So we're gonna go with some potions, use them up. And Mew de Uno could benefit that from that too. Hey, let's just finish these things off right here. <laughs> okay. Bring it on. I've traveled all over the globe while raising my Pokemon. This is the gym I've chosen. You'll find it a handful sure. Okay, alright. So here we are taking on a sailor, and his name is Damien. And what kind of Pokemon does he have? Wingle. All right, Wingle doesn't seem too hard, unless you're very underleveled and stuff. So here we go, Electro Star. I know you can do it. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just motivate these Pokemon right here. And wow, quick to the trigger. Here comes a Pluck Attack, and that right there is not so effective. So here comes a Bite Attack. That hits it pretty hard. Let's go with a shockwave attack. Growl. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so here we go. Shockwave. For the win, and Wingle has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, yeah, so we're kicking some butt, taking the names, and we're gonna just stay put with the same Pokemon right here. And what do we have? Let's go with a shockwave attack right now. And yeah, that quick attack's yeah. <laughs> quick attack's not gonna agree with us, but shockwave always will since it is both a, a uh, flying and water type Pokemon. And from there, we win again. All right. Yeah. So he's he's not too happy right now with that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and press this, and we are now. We are. I think we're getting closer and closer to where where we need to be. Before we press that button. We need to go back over here, and there is a young lady. She's like, I want to become a strong trainer like Crash, Crash Awake. Okay, Crash Awake, you are the idol, and well, here we are taking on Tuber Caitlin, and she will be coming out with a Zuril. That Pokemon is not strong. And I think it's a normal type Pokemon right now. It doesn't gain its water capabilities. I could be wrong. Oh my god, okay, so let's go straight for a shockwave attack. And yeah, I was right. This Pokemon is not a uh Yeah, it's not a water type Pokemon right now, so let's go straight for a bite attack since you know special attacks are gonna just get are not the business right now. And there you go, Azurol defeated. And there we go. About to come out with a Meryl, so let's go right ahead and do another one right here. Let's go straight for the Shockwave attack. Yeah, look at that. And because of its reflected, or uh, what was it called, uh, light screen attack, it's just, yeah, it's gonna prevent Meryl from fainting that quickly right there. So here we go, another Shockwave, and that right there will defeat our good old buddy Meryl. Oh, yeah. And Mew de Uno grows to level 23 without doing anything. Caitlyn is not happy. She's like, too much. Too much, yeah. Okay, so let's move on. Here we are. 
And there's another fisherman. And yes, he's going to be talking about like landing a Pokemon. So here we go, taking on Fisher Eric. And he will have three Pokemon right here coming out with a Goldeen through his little fishing line or fishing rod. All right, Electro Star, it's time. And yes, we're going to lower their attacks because I think that's a good idea. And we're going to go straight for a Shockwave attack. That does it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there's another victory. And Electro Star grows to level 30. And here comes a Barboak. So you know what? Let's go with Starblade right here. It is kind of our strongest Pokemon. It's right there on par with Infernape. So it's right there. So here we go. Feel my teenage angst, Starblade. And we are intimidating some more, and we're gonna be going straight for a close combat attack right here. So here it is, close combat, and there goes Barboke. And well, there goes our defenses. <laughs> Especially uh, Starblades. One hit could just make it disappear and stuff. And here comes a Gyarados. Let's go with our Hydro right here. Let's do it. We're gonna do it. Alrighty. So here we go, Hydra for the win. And he's going to be coming out with a Hydra himself. Oh my god. We're intimidating each other. We're just looking at each other and we're like, yeah, we hate each other. I heard that if Gyarados fight, like, see each other, they have to fight each other. So, let's go straight for a Thunderbolt attack. And that is how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I actually prepared for this one right here. And Eric has been defeated. He's not happy at all. <laughs> okay, so... Ah, Digivolution time. Well, we thought it would never happen, but because of unforeseen circumstances or just because I didn't remember, Electrostar gets its chance. It finally evolves into its final stage. Look at that. Oh my god. Looks Ray. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. Love its Super Saiyan hair right there. So, here it is. Luxray, the Gleam Eyes Pokemon. It has eyes that can see through anything. It spots and captures prey hiding in behind objects. Yeah, don't want to mess with that Pokemon. So, uh, I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, my bad guys. I had to go uh, on and off right here because of uh, the 20 minute limit. And, uh, well, we're going to be going uh, not here. But, we're going to... Let's see. Go right here. Yeah, that's detrimental to us, so we're going to have to go right here, and go right there. That will, of course, take us here, and I think there's like one more trainer that we have to, have to, we have to actually defeat. Now, before we do anything, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Electrostar the Luxray. Look at his Pokemon. Looks it just looks menacing and all that crud. And its special attack, it's its thing. Its speed is just not there, but, you know. You know me, I, I... I seem to pick the best natures, probably. Okay, so, here we go. Taking on another sailor, and his name is Samson. It's a pretty cool name right there. Samson. And crap baskets. Yeah, he has Shellos. Shellos, of course, is a ground-type Pokemon. But... with a bite attack yeah the bite attack will actually work here comes a dance or rain dance attack and well uh, it, it is raining so it's benefiting my electric type Pokemon as well so here we go bite attack for the win and just like that we have defeated that Pokemon getting some more points and here comes a Wingle oh yeah that Wingle is gonna suffer how's it going Wingle Take this. Shockwave. Probably like 16 times damage now because of rain. And yeah. Oh man. He made the biggest mistake by picking that Pokemon. And well, Samson will be coming out with a Shellos. And I'm just going to continue on right here. Now, you guys are seeing Toxic Batman right there. Yes, I get it. I am trying to evolve it twice in a row and stuff. And ah, oh, crap. Oh, wait, it works. Never mind. 
theory proven. And... Well, there you go. He's like, that didn't hit. I didn't even have to wash my hands. You sicko, you need to wash your hands. Okay, so... Let's press this button. And it looks like to me... We're finally here. Okay, so before we do anything, guys... Um, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And hope for the best right here, because this guy... He looks like a Lucha Libre star. Welcome! I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the, the Pastoria Gym Leader. That's right, I'm K Crasher Wake. My Pokemon were toughened up by the stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can uh, throw at them and then pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. Okay, so here he is, guys. Crash your wake. Lucha Libre star in extraordinaire. And, uh, well, here he comes out with a Gyarados. Okay. I have this look in my face right now. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is going to be easy. You intimidate me, but it doesn't affect me very much because here's what's going to happen. Electro star is going to intimidate you. Who's faster? Luxray or Hydra? Let's go, and, well, it's, it seems to me it's Gyarados. And it goes with a crunch attack. But here comes a shockwave, and that right there will finish off Gyarados. So there we go. More points given to us. Muda Uno, mooching off our points. And here comes Quagsire. This Pokemon is, uh, yeah, this is the Pokemon that we need to watch out for, too. It is a, it is a ground and water type Pokemon. A very good Pokemon to actually have on your team. So let's go, Quagsire. How's it going? And, uh, well, it's looking at me all blindly and all that stuff. It is a bulky Pokemon, but uh, you know what? I'm still going to go with a close combat attack. And that nearly defeats Quagsire right there. This will lower our defense. So we are wide open for this. Here comes a Rain Dance. And that right there will power up any kind of water type moves, but it will help our electric type Pokemon as well. So here comes another close combat attack, and that right there is a win. Okay, so Quagsire has fainted. That's two down, and two Pokemon have grown levels, and Toxic Batman's going to evolve in this one right here. And here comes a Float Cell. So we're going to go with Hydra because, yes... We have Thunderbolt attack, and we're going to just destroy this. Oh, my God. All righty. So here we are, level 31, and Crash Awake's like, hey, that there. That's a good move. So here comes Float Zone, the evolved Pokemon of Beebrel. Not Beebrel. Um, uh, Weasel, yes. So we lowered its attack, and here comes a Thunderbolt attack. But here comes the Ice Fang attack. That would have definitely beaten our, uh, oh, wow, seriously? Come on. Another Ice Fang. This is ridiculous. Here we go. Thunder Fang or Thunderbolt. Or, oh, wow. Nearly defeats this Pokemon. But we do heal up thanks to the Shell Bell. And... Ah, it looks like we're both prepared. Very equipped and all that stuff. And that is a Citrus Berry. And this guy's like, this is where it gets exciting. Ah, you don't say. But here it comes. Thunder, uh, Thunderbolt. And... There we go. Thunderbolt attack for the win. Say goodbye to Float Cell. Throw it up to the side. Okay. Alrighty. And just like that, we grow levels on all well four Pokemon right here. And Hydra wants to learn Aqua Tail, so let's go ahead and see what we can actually take away. Uh, its physical attack will be strong. It's 90 for 90. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna stay put with uh, the waterfall attack because I do like accuracy. Mew de Uno grows level 25, and Electro Star grows level 31. Monfernomon to level 37, and we get ourselves another badge. Whoa! It's gone and in in indeed. How will I say this? I want more. I wanted to battle a lot more, and we get a lot more money. Alrighty. 
Digivolution time. Yeah, we didn't even do anything with this Pokemon, but I kind of just wanted to evolve it, so... Here it is, guys. We're evolving Pokemon like crazy. That is, what, like six evolutions in the last four episodes, probably? So here it is, guys. Toxic Batman has grown to a Golbat. And, well, let's add it to the page right here. As you guys can see, Toxic Batman, the Bat Pokemon. Poison and flying type Pokemon. It loves blood of humans and Pokemon. It flies around at night to search neck veins. Yeah, yeah, that's not gonna happen. It seems the undertow pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You've earned this. That's right. That is badge number four. Yeah, and uh, hopefully that will actually let our Pokemon, you know. Let's see. So you need a Fen Badge to use a hidden move, Defog from your Poke Attack. Uh, this is a special reward for me in recognition of your team's power, and we get some stickers. You know the Wake that Wake uses and all that stuff, and we get ourselves a TM 55s. I believe that's Scald. No, it's Brine. So it inflicts double the damage on the targets with less than half their HP. Use it to end battles decisively. Okay. Alrighty. So let's GTFO right here. And, well, we have won another badge. We are victorious. And, uh, well, this has been a very good 20th episode right here, guys. And, well, look at Dogs of Batman. Look at all big and everything. Oh, my God. Okay, so, let's see. Let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest badge. Uh... Let's see, not that. Let's press Y. And there you go, guys. We have four badges in all. I think this fourth badge right here enables us to use the Pokemon that we want to use. If not, maybe the fifth badge. So we might have to wait a little further for that. I don't know. I'm just going to have to take a risk or something like that. But anywho, guys. This has been a very fun episode. Long and fun. I will see you guys in the next one as we take a look at uh, the Great Marsh and move on forward. See you guys.